Until NASCAR 23, this diecast review will be on Casey Mears 2014 Geico Military Promo Car, which is surprisingly, as you can probably see by now, on the old or the EL mold, uh, whichever one you like to call it, which is uh, something we haven't seen for a promo diecast in quite a while, and I think, you know, this is a way a promo should look, just like every other quality diecast we should be getting. And, uh, you know, this old mold is my favorite still. I mean, I know PTC mold is getting better as far as the uh, decal quality is going, better than the uh, second mold, that WLS mold. But uh, still, I, in my opinion, nothing beats this uh, old EL mold. And it's just my favorite, so I hope they bring it back for the 2015 diecast, at least some of them. And uh, I know they're making a new Toyota mold. I really hope that, uh, probably not too likely, but I sure do hope that they uh, have some sort of EL style mold for the Toyotas, but I I don't really see it happening. But uh, anyway, this diecast, I just got it in today, and I really like this paint scheme a lot. Uh, the camo on it, and um, I, I'm usually not a big fan of the uh, any, well, most paint schemes with, cam with a camo on it, camo paint scheme, but this one's actually really, really nice, and, um, and, and I like it a lot. So uh, the paint scheme, as you can see, the bottom half of the splitter is basically just the camouflage. The top is white, the hood, white background. Then you see a little bit, uh, kind of a, right here below, kind of, uh, bottom of the tire there, comes out towards the 1 of the 13 there, the camouflage. And then below that, a white stripe that goes out to the 1, the bottom corner of the 1. Then under that, a green stripe that goes up to the bottom of the 3. And then next to that, a thin white stripe that goes out to the back tire and then the rest of uh, beneath that a curved uh, uh, it's filled in curved with the camouflage and that white stripe out uh, continues back past the rear tire and ends just in a little kind of point right there and the rest of the quarter panel is camouflage with a little skinny green stripe just above it a little bit below the tail light and then up here above the one you have some camouflage basically up around the window net the A be in like half the C pillar with a white green and a green stripe that extends up to the C pillar there and then the rest of it is just white the background of the of the back of the car is white deck lid and roof white and the right side of the car is the same as the left as far as the paint scheme goes so now for the sponsors we have Casey Mears on the windshield with the two Chevy logos Geico Military on the hood with the a little Geico gecko thing there and the little hat or whatever helmet whatever you want to call it Chevrolet Chevrolet SS number 13 is there I'm pretty sure it's a Jermaine racing logo this is I, I'm not sure exactly what this is I don't do my sponsor research some heart though some pink heart there on the B pillar come on focus there we go down here we got Wix filters and Sean Williams a KMC wheels here uh, that's uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what it is I'm, I could assume it's some cancer thing I can't read it I like a pink ribbon though and then uh, you have Chevrolet on the back with Geico SS SS again number 13 again the little Geico gecko with this salute there on the deck lid thank you for your service on the oh, did I say Geico right here above the uh, on the left side above the tire. I don't I think I missed that. Geico above there. Geico on the roof and on the right side of the car uh, is the same sponsor wise and paint scheme wise as the left. So to rate this car on a scale of one to ten, I give it a nine point five out of ten. This is a really great paint scheme. I don't I think this is really probably one of the only paint scheme changes that he really had throughout the season. I think it was pretty much mostly the same. So was, so this was a really nice one to see. I really liked it. Uh, I believe this ran at the Coke 600. I'm not exactly sure. Um, some, obviously, some a patriotic. Either Memorial Day weekend then or Daytona in July, but I'm pretty sure it was a 600. I don't know for sure, though. But uh, 9.5 out of 10, really, really nice paint scheme. Love that it's on the old mold. Uh, I, was, uh, I didn't actually think I'd be able to get it at first, but uh, I turned out I was able to get it. CaseyMirrors.com, uh, the, sh uh, the store on there. Um, it is uh, about $12 and another $7 shipping, but it's all worth it, uh, I think, to get a car like this, because I really like it. One of, one of the better, probably one of my favorite cars of the year, honestly. 
as we and uh, we're getting close to the 2015 cars as well. So uh, now for 360 view, and um, you know, and in case you uh, haven't heard yet about the new merchandise system NASCAR is going to get going uh, starting this season, I'm not exactly sure what tracks or what races or anything, but. Uh, tents now, or like a tent mall type thing, I'm not exactly sure what you'd call it, um, to replace most of the haulers, and it's because they're trying to save money, not, it wasn't, it, originally it was to save money, and uh, I don't really think it's saving them any money much, and I, I don't, you know, there are a lot of things I found wrong with it, and, and you know, a lot of pros and cons to it, but you can go check out you know, more on that story, NASCAR.com, um, I, I really hope it works out, though, I mean, as long as, there's so, as long as they keep some haulers around the racetrack, it just doesn't feel complete, you know, race weekend without some haulers there. Because they've just been around too long. You can't just wipe them all out at once, you know. But uh, anyway, that about wraps up this review. Remember to like, comment, like, and subscribe and for more. And uh, this is all NASCAR 23 saying thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.